Good Tuesday morning class and welcome to our Tuesday mini reading lesson. Yay! And of course you should have listened to the story Library Lion. So today for our mini lesson yesterday, let's go over yesterday. Yesterday we described um, the actions that the character Library Lion did throughout the story based on what he was feeling. Today, we're using the same story, Library Lion, because that's our story of the week, but we are going to be focusing on the illustrations in the story and how they can help us become better readers, and we're going to learn why. So, of course, we've been over through the whole year. Illustration is just a fancy word that means picture. So the illustrations in the stories are the pictures in the story. So let's go over our success criteria and learning target for today. Today's learning target is I can use the illustrations in a text to help describe the key ideas of the story. And it's so important to do this because this is another strategy you need to know to become a better reader. That's why we're here. We're trying to become better readers. You guys are great. You need to be even better. Always, always, always. Have a growth mindset and try to be better than you were the day before. So that's our learning target. The success criteria is the same as yesterday and last week. So that's really important what we've been working on. Your success criteria is I can use text evidence to prove my answers. So we're going to be using evidence from the story to prove why the illustrations are um, describing the key ideas and details that you say they are. You can't just be making stuff up. You've got to have proof. And that's what good readers do. So let's get started. First, um, if you like listen to the story already and you didn't really focus on the illustrations, you can go back after this and really focus on the illustrations and what they're telling you. But right now, we're just going to practice with some other illustrations that aren't from the story. It's just from practice. So here we go. Here is the first illustration I have for you guys. Here it is, cute little girl with an umbrella. Now, this we're practicing using illustrations. That means this picture, illustrations, to describe key ideas and details. If I just said, oh, it's a girl with an umbrella. Is that really using details or key ideas? Or is that just like, a regular statement. Yeah, that's not using details. Okay, so we're gonna tape this picture up because we're gonna talk about what could a detailed sentence be that describes this illustration. Let me tape this up. Okay, so right now, brainstorm, that means thinking in your head. What could be a detailed thing that could be happening in the picture, a description of what is happening. I'll give you some time to think. Okay, so you should have your ideas. You could have paused if you need more time, but it's not just a girl holding an umbrella. You can use details, you can be creative. It's a girl playing in a puddle. Yeah, she's holding an umbrella because it's probably raining. And because it's raining, it caused the puddle and she's playing in it. See how detailed that was? That's called using the illustration to create key ideas and details. Okay, so I'm gonna tape this up under, under there. And let's do uh, another one. So everyone look at this illustration. Little boy with bunnies. So cute. Okay. Right now, brainstorm in your head. That means think in your head. What are some key ideas or details that could be happening in this illustration? What is this illustration showing or telling you? This is just like I say in class when I do my read alouds. I say, not only are we reading the words, we read the pictures. This is what I've been saying all year. This is what I mean when I say, use the reading strategy, read the pictures. Read the pictures means using the illustrations to come up with a detailed key ideas and events. So right now, here it is. Brainstorm in your head some key ideas or details of what could be happening in this cute little illustration. 
And you can pause the video if you need more time. Okay, so I'm gonna tape this up and you probably had some very good detailed um, ideas or that was that was happening in the illustration. I came up with the bunnies are hopping on her. Okay, so the bunnies are hopping and hopping all over her and playing with her instead of just saying, it's a kid sitting with bunnies. The more detailed version of that is they're hopping all over her. Doesn't that sound better? Yes. Okay. And we're going to do two more. And here's another illustration. I mean, it's a picture. A girl holding some flowers. So you just say it's a girl with flowers. That's not detailed, though. Brainstorm right now. What is a detailed way to describe this illustration. What could possibly be happening? Okay, okay I'm gonna tape this up. And I came up with the girl got flowers as a present and then I described the flowers. I said the flowers are pink, purple, and yellow. So instead of just saying, oh, it's a girl with flowers, someone gave them to her and they're pink, purple, and yellow. That's a much more detailed way to describe the illustration. And when you can describe illustrations with details, it helps you understand the text better, which all together makes you a better reader, which is why we're learning this reading strategy. One more, one more together. Then I'll go over the worksheet you're going to do after this. Okay, here is another illustration. So it's a kid, a little girl blowing a bubble. You could just say it's a girl with a bubble, but that's not detailed. Right now, brainstorm your details about this illustration while I get my tape ready. And I came up with, the girl is blowing a giant bubble. So it's not just a girl with a bubble, she's blowing a giant bubble. Maybe she tried and tried and tried and this is the first time she was able to blow a bubble. That's lots of detail. And there we go. So today, after this video, you are going to be doing this worksheet. It's in the Tuesday file. Remember, if you don't have a print it's okay, you can look what it says on here and write on a separate piece of paper. So, it says illustrations and mood. It says directions. Look at the illustration your teacher is showing you. Draw what you see and write about it and how it affects the mood of the book. Now, what if you're probably Miss Spears and you're not here to show us any pictures. Oh wait, there's more. This is also in the Tuesday folder. It says some examples of mood. And there's a lot of illustrations, that means pictures, of kids and they have different feelings and actions on their faces. You can tell by look, looking closely at the pictures and analyzing. Analyzing is a fancy word that means look and really think and decide. So this is in the Tuesday file. You're going to be using these illustrations to help you do your illustration sheet. So describe each, you get to pick at least three. You can do more in the back if you want to do extra work, but at least three in the flowers, pick three, you might on your screen, pick three of these, this is on your screen, that you want to use. And like I said, you can do more in the back and describe with details what is happening in the illustration? What could be happening? Just like we did on our sample illustrations, on our poster, okay? And then after this, 
Oh, that's it for today, for Tuesday. So that's what you're doing today. So our goal was to use illustrations in a text to describe key ideas. So we're going to be using these illustrations and describing the key ideas on this paper. Use text evidence. That's your success criteria. So that's for Tuesday, and I'll see you tomorrow for Wednesday reading. Yay! Bye!